Good morning. How you doing this morning? Well, sir, is it a good looking Saturday morning, a sanctified Saturday? And so we call it a spectacular Saturday morning. <laughs> oh, man. It is. It's spectacular because everybody working together. Even BB came in right. Yeah. And, yeah, man. It good this morning. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> to be sounding off the good news, the good news about Jesus. We call it news we all can use because the news is that God so loved us that he gave his only begotten son that any one of us who would believe on him should never ever perish but have everlasting life, to have the God kind of life. As Jesus himself taught, St. John 10, 10, a thief, came to steal, kill, and destroy. That's not me. I have come that you might have life and it more abundantly. Well, friend, that's the good news that B.B. declares in order to save us, in order to save the day because of love. The Lord Jesus put himself in harm's way. And we remind ourselves of that every single day that we might know and believe the love that God has for us, that God loves himself from you. And uh, we do too, and that you matter to God and you matter to us. Well, that's the difference maker in life, knowing and believing the love that God has for us. So many times the things that we hear from Scripture becomes, you know, almost trite to us uh, to know that the creator and maker of all things, the God of the universe, who is altogether perfect, whole, holy, sinless, righteous, perfect in every way, all-powerful, all-knowing, uh, loves us, loves us, and that, that's how he relates to us. Uh, you know, that truth is enough to transform and keep on renewing our minds to cause us to live transformed lives, and that's what we're talking about. We're talking about transformation. Let me pause for a minute and let me invite the men across the Tennessee Valley, and those of you uh, who connect and uh, follow us online, that Connected Strength is together both in person at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time at 5650 Sanderson Street Northwest, the Connect Center, Huntsville, Alabama, 35805. And we're also online for our forum, uh, Connected Strength Forum. And today our topic is disruption, uh, the power or the, uh, the, 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 that leads to transformation, disruption that leads or gives transformation. And so we're going to be talking about uh, how the disruption, how God uh, has strategic and thoughtful and uh, purposeful uh, disruptions in our lives to bring transformation to our lives. Well, it's no doubt about it that God sending his world into this world, not to condemn us that we might be saved through him, 
was a disruption of the order of what had taken place uh, in this world. As man had fallen and come short of the glory of God, God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, to leave it to its course of destruction, decay, and ultimate de uh, damnation. As we know that one day, as the apostle Peter shares with us, that these things that we see shall uh, melt and fade away and uh, it, they will all be dissolved. They will be no more. He will not again destroy the world as he did in the days of Noah through, f through flooding, but it will be by fire next time. Now, we don't live in fear of that, but knowing these things shall be, the apostle Peter says, what manner of men ought we to be? I suggest to you that each time that we see the truths of God and we realize God's work and plan in the earth and his instruction, his guiding, his warnings uh, to us, that they are disruptions to not leave us to our own way, but to lead us in his way to bring a transformation and change in our thinking and approach to life such that we are aligned with his. You know what happens when God's word enters into us. It gives us light. It says in Psalms 19, it gives understanding in the areas that we have lacked understanding. Why does he do that? So that it will become a lamp for our feet, a light to our pathway to lead us from where we are to where he has us and wants us to be. What is the ultimate plan and purpose for God? We want to live there. We want to walk that out day by day, moment by moment. I declare to you, as I declare often on this broadcast, your greatest opportunity for success in life is the will of God for you, for you specifically. And when you and I ask for his kingdom to come and his will to be done in the earth as it is in heaven, it is a divine disruption to set us on for, on path and on course that his power, his kingdom, and his glory can be manifest in and through us every single day. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosion Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond where the dream of change is alive and Jesus is our joy. Knowing this, together, you and I are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this sanctified and spectacular Saturday morning, Pete. Yeah, man, I, I'm following with you then. I, I, for some reason, I wanted to say sensational. I, 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 yeah, you got this stuck in my mind now, Pastor. I can't get it out. <laughs> hey, we appreciate the message. We look forward to another one in the morning, Lord willing, with another Christ in Action broadcast. Yes, sir. Well, another great Saturday morning with you. Keep on doing what you're doing, Lord willing. We'll talk to you again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, Pastor. Have a great one. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, indeed, man. Come on, man. 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'd love to see you in person. We made it available in person, the Connected Strength Forum, for those of you in the Huntsville area, the men of all ages, uh, to come fellowship and uh, be a part of this forum. It's a dialogue. So we have men uh, both online and in the room uh, from around the city and around the country and, and across the nation. And other times, uh, we've had some from around the world. And so uh, it's a forum to um, empower men, to encourage, to equip, uh, and to mobilize us to reign as kings and serve as priests unto our God, even as we are made through our Father God and his Son, Jesus Christ. Disruption that leads, that gives transformation. Disruption that gives transformation. All, all transformation begins with the disruption. Something that uh, sets us on a different course, a different order that gives us a new focus to lead us where God wants us to go. New to us, but not new to God, because God is always at work, uh, working everything after the counsel of his own will. Let's, let's, let's hook up and let's, 
Let's talk about it, being encouraged and empowered by these truths today. 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. This morning, 5650 Sanderson Street, Northwest, Huntsville, Alabama, 35805. You can also join us online. Just go to at Connected Church on YouTube and Facebook. And if you go to our page, you'll see that there is a Zoom link that you can come in live uh, with us on Zoom as well. As many choose to do that uh, uh, also. Either way, we look forward to connecting with you for this forum. Disruption that gives transformation. Go ahead and prepare to be with us tomorrow morning, Sunday, 10, 15 a.m. Central Standard Time as we continue this living series transformation as well. Same location and we're available online as well. Well, remember this until we talk to you a little later. God loves himself some you and we do too. You matter to God and you matter to us. Do have a spectacular Saturday and do it on purpose. Bye-bye for now.